Well, as Rahul Gandhi continues his visit to Ladakh, the Congress MP has today hit out the center saying that its claim that not an inch of land has been ceded to China is incorrect. Rahul Gandhi also claimed that the local residents had told him that the Indian territory was intruded upon and taken over by the Chinese troops, adding that it was a matter of grave concern. Rahul Gandhi also raised questions on the Union Territory status given to Ladakh after the bifurcation of Jammu and Kashmir into two Union Territories following the abrogation of Article 370. Over here the concern is of course the land that has been taken away by China uh, and people here have been affected by it uh, in a big way because their grazing lands have been taken away uh, and also lack of connectivity here. Uh, सेल्यूलर कनेक्टिविटी नहीं यहाँ पे तो सब लोग कह रहे हैं कि चाइना की गलवान सेक्टर एंड जस्ट फ्यूड इस बैक देर हैड बीन द 19th राउंड ऑफ टॉक बिटवीन द मेजर एट द मेजर जनरल लेवल बिटवीन द चाइना इन इंडिया एट शुशुल एस वेल एस डॉलर पे गोल्डी एंड इन दैट ड्यूरिंग दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन आल्सो दे डिस्कस दैट देर आर सम ऑफ द by the Chinese forces. There, there is a deployment of the Indian troops and that's one of the reasons that some of the places that uh, people are prevented from coming over to the pasture land. That, it, the, reality is not, the reality is that. Not that they are, the Chinese have occupied that area, they have come over to the Indian side and that's one of the reasons that the uh, people are not able to uh, go to uh, those pasture land for grazing their cattle. That is not the reality. But what Rahul Gandhi is saying, there is a half truth. Half truth is that it is because of the presence of the Indian army at some of the points, those are the friction points where they are not allowing right now the people to go because for the security concern a reason because there is every possibility that they can abduct any of those Chinese and they want to then uh, rake up that issue on the talking table and uh, that could be a problematic for India also so that's one of the reasons that the people are not allowed at some point some of the point but so far as the reality on the ground is concerned everybody knows that there has been uh, disengagement at the Gogra there has been disengagement at uh, Galvan there had been disengagement at Hot Spring and there had been uh, disengagement at other points also the only two points where they are looking for the disengagement the friction point is considered to be Debsang, then there is uh, uh, the Demchok area, so where they want uh, these are the friction points, that, that's why the, uh, there had been 19 rounds of talk and both the countries have decided in, over the period of time there will be disengagement in that area but unfortunately the same Rahul Gandhi when the first surgical strike was conducted that time also they called it a surgical strike when the second surgical strike was conducted that time also they were asking for the Sabut so this Sabut gang will keep on asking Sabut not realizing because at the end of the day they are simply trying to uh, churn out uh, the Chinese narrative when they again and again keep on asking for. Because what Prime Minister said, it was only when the troops on the ground sent a message that they will not allow a single inch of the land to be given to China because with great dedication, determination, grit and valor they had been fighting. And we saw that how they were able to give the befitting reply. More than 40 of the Chinese soldiers were killed. Initially, Chinese kept on denying. But unfortunately, Rahul Gandhi and many of his party colleagues, they were acting as spokesperson for China and they were in fact questioning India 